Hello, welcome to a short demo. In this demo, I'll be showing how we can provision a VPX on an SDX box using Terraform scripts. On my left side is SDX console, where if you can see, I have three instances uh, present. And on the right hand side, I have two files, provider.tf and resource.tf, where resource.tf, it says it's a new, this is a new provider and new resource, Citrix SDX provider VPX. And uh, I'm uh, provisioning a VPX called demo VPX with IP 74.177 and uh, net mask gateway image the profile and i have also provisioning with one uh, network interface to the vpx etc and if we go in provider.tf it says citrix sdx is the provider under citrix namespace and we need to give this SDX in details. What is the SDX host? 1.74.1.35, username of the SDX box, password of the SDX box. And since I'm using HTTPS, I need to, and I'm using uh, a non-certified SDX box in the test environment, I need to skip the SSL verification process. So it's false. I can give, these details either in the provider tf or i can also have my environment variable setup which are here any of these two so if both are set then uh, the details in the provider block will be taken as precedence okay now let's terraform initialize our uh, package then let's say terraform apply so if you see here if we apply it says one to change there are this one uh, device will be added with the name demo vpx and let's say yes It would take a couple of minutes because we're provisioning the whole VPX on uh, uh, SDX. And we will wait until the VM state and instance state show up. Only then Terraform confirms that it's a successful provisioning of VPX on SDX. Okay, so we have our demo VPX now, which is halted state and uh, instance state is down. Now the Terraform will wait till the VM state is up as well as instance state is up. Only then Terraform confirms as a successful provisioning. Okay, welcome back. So if you see here, uh, Terraform apply provisioned the VPX successfully. Let's uh, go inside this and check uh, the VPX. So it's a save VPX with 177 as the IPv6 demo VPX as the name, profile, everything is same. And description. Now we have provisioned VPX. At a later point of time, if we want to change something, uh, we can do the same thing using our Terraform Pro, using the Terraform itself. Let's say, for an example, for now for this demo, I want to change description from TF to TF updated. Now, let's say Terraform apply. 
and it shows that the description is being updated from tf2 from uh, tf updated there is one to change let's do that let's come back and let's say yes and let's wait for some time okay so the terraform apply command gave success let's see and check in our sdx vpx and if you see the description is updated to from tf updated so that means we have successfully modified the vpx contents through the terraform and now after uh, using we can deprovision the terraform or delete the deprovision the vpx on stx or delete the vpx instance on stx by using terraform destroy either if we say terraform destroy and all the resources in the dot tf files will be destroyed since there is only one resource we have then that resource will be destroyed it says it is what to destroy yes it takes less than less time than that of uh, provisioning let's wait for it so terraform said one resource destroyed let's refresh this and check Yes, the demo VPX is deprovisioned from the SDX box. So this is a simple demo and showing how we can add, edit, and delete a VPX on SDX using Terraform, our new Terraform provider for Citrix SDX. Thanks a lot for joining. We will see you again for another awesome short demo.